same units of product could most likely go up but possibly could go down over time as well because of inflation if nothing else other changes as well so that's going to give us 22 dollars that's where the flow assumptions are going to come in when we talk about more complex methods in the future and then let's say that we also purchase product number two so i'm going to copy this i'm going to put it over here and say we purchased another product number two and we didn't have any any first row here product number two we're going to say we purchased two of them and they cost 105 dollars for a total of uh, 210 dollars that we're purchasing so if we purchase this from the same vendor we might just be paying a bill that would come through the bank feeds at 232 and that's all we would do in in quickbooks and so we'd say okay i'm this is i'm going to purchase these and they cost whatever they cost i got to pay the, these people 232 dollars right so i'm going to go okay let's go into uh quickbooks here and do that so i'm going to go quickbooks and it might go through the bank feeds you might use the bank feeds but i'm going to do an expense form here which is the form that decreases the checking account let's say it's vendor one again and this happened on 415 and if these were products i would have the two items down here that i would have to set up but i'm not doing that i'm just and i'm not even tracking it i'm not even going to record it to inventory i'm just going to expense it as we purchase them so i could put the units here i won't even put the description i'll just say yeah it was we got to pay this guy uh 232 dollars so we're going to say 232 and that's it so this is going to decrease cash and the other side is just going to go to the cost of goods sold and we're not tracking the number of units or anything in quickbooks although we most likely are in our logistical way in some way shape or form in shopify because we're going to adjust the inventory units here that are going to be increasing as we purchase the inventory and then they will tick down as the sales are happening on the shopify website but shopify or whatever service you're using is not tracking the flow assumptions oftentimes like like the dollar values and note the date should be 2025 is what i'm working in to be in the same year i was doing here so let's save it and close it and then if i go to the balance sheet there should be a decrease in the checking account and the other side is just simply going to the cost of goods sold now notice you might be thinking well what's happening with the revenue side of things with the revenue side of things i'm not focused on the revenue side of things but that would be handled the with the the methods we were taking a look at before most likely pulling in the information from the third party platform using the bank feeds with a deposit the deposits coming through or getting the more information with a journal entry or or integrations but as the revenue comes in it's not it's not linked to the inventory and cost of goods sold because we're not using a perpetual inventory system but rather a periodic inventory type of system okay so then so that's that one and let's so now let's say that time passes more revenue happens and when the revenue happens the revenue would be pulled in up top and then of course your shopify units within shopify or whatever your online store would be going down again and whatnot and then you would have to say that you're going to be purchasing uh, more units of inventory at some point uh, also let's say that we also purchase another product and and let's say that we're going to purchase product number three so and let's say this happens on 415 so now we're going to add a product i'm going to say we're going to sell a new type of thing and say expenses and let's say this is going to be another vendor vendor number two that we're going to say our product is and this is on 041525 as well and so this one i'm just going to put it once again into cost of goods sold even though i've got a completely different vendor and a different product and i'm going to say that we're buying uh 2600 of these let's put the calculation just so you can see what i'm thinking on the new vendor so the new vendor i'm going to copy this whole thing from the skinny well let's just do this i'll copy this over and put that right there and let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see it on the screen and this will be product number three and then happens on 415 we're going to say that we buy four units and these are more expensive stuff at 650 so four of them at 650 gets us up to 2600 
So I'm just gonna say that we're paying 2,600 to purchase these units of inventory. That's our purchase price, not the sales price. And so this is gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna save it and close it. Doesn't track the inventory or anything. It's just a decrease to the rev to the cash account, the other side going into our cost of goods sold, expensing them as we purchase them. And then we're gonna imagine time passes, our inventory goes down and whatnot when sales happen. And we're saying, okay, I gotta purchase more inventory because I'm getting low on the inventory. So I'm just gonna say, let's imagine that on uh, the next day that we purchase is gonna be on uh, five one. We're gonna purchase six units and now they cost $23. Notice the price is going up for the same units of inventory. And then that's all we're gonna purchase at this level. So let's say on five one that happens, we gotta pay 138. So I'm gonna say, okay, 138, boom, uh, expense. And so I'm just gonna say this is vendor one. And this happened on 050125 and cost of goods sold. And we're just gonna pay, what did, what did I say? Uh, what, did, what did I say here? <laughs> uh, 138, 138, boom, 138. And that just does the same thing, save and close, cash to base system, nice and easy, decreases the balance sheet. The other side's going to the cost of goods sold. Now we purchased those in May. And then if I go back on over, <clears throat> we're gonna say, all right, now time has passed again, and we're gonna do one more purchase on 515. We're gonna purchase two at 27. Notice the price is going up. And then we're gonna be purchased on 515 also, 515 here. And I'm gonna format paint this down, 515. We're gonna purchase three, and now these cost 111, price went up. That's what often happens over time, even though they're the same units. And we're gonna purchase more of these. Let's format paint this one down and say this happens on 515. And we're gonna purchase three of these. And again, the price went up here. So now if I total that up, let's pretend we purchased these all from the same vendor now. I could just say, okay, now I'm gonna make a big purchase because Christmas is coming or whatever. And so it's gonna cost me 2,412. So over here on, I'm gonna say that's what I need for my, to cover my Christmas, the Christmas sales or whatever. So I'll hit the drop down, and let's just say this is all coming from vendor one again. And this time we're on 0515, uh, 25. Cost of goods sold. The total amount is just simply gonna be 2412. So we'll say, all right, 2412. Same transaction, save it and close it. It's gonna decrease the checking account we don't have we're overdrawn that's not good we better get some sales going and then we'll run over here and there we have it on this side just recording it to cost of goods sold now the reason this is easy is because of course cost of goods sold will just flow into uh the balance sheet it'll close out and everything but uh th these cost of goods sold although we expect to have them expenses are not tying out to the same period necessarily that we actually sold uh, the inventory and that's why the accrual method is generally better because we would like to match out the cost of goods sold to the time frame that we sold the inventory but this would be the easy thing to do because when i make the inventory sales then like these units that i purchased in april may i may not be selling them until you know three months into the future or something like that so now i've got this difference between when i purchased them 